Hi, and welcome to this Unikey tutorial. Today, we're going to factory reset a Kivo Plus. As you can see here, I have everything I need to factory reset this Kivo Plus. I have my Kivo Plus. I have an ethernet cable that is directly connected to my modem or router. I have my power cable. And here I have a SIM card tool uh, that will allow me to reset the device through the small opening in the back. If you don't have a SIM card tool laying around, I would recommend using a paper clip. Please do not try to use a pencil or a pen to reset the Kivo Plus as it will most likely break the unit. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is look on the back here and I'm gonna plug in the ethernet. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the power. And then you'll see it light up right away. You also wanna make sure that on the back here, as you can see, that you have both green and amber or yellow lights kind of working. It means that it's connecting. Also, please make sure that this Bluetooth antenna is fully screwed in. Uh, you don't want to obviously over screw it, but you'll notice that you can screw it into a point where it just stops. Uh, that's what you want. If this Bluetooth antenna is not fully connected, it can cause connection issues. All right, so now that we have everything up and powered, let's go ahead and factory reset this Kivo Plus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to get the Bluetooth antenna out of the way here so you guys can kind of see where this is. Uh, it's very small, the writing is very small, um, but it is there. So as you can see, there's a small hole here on the back of the unit. So this is where the reset button is. So we're going to take, while everything is plugged in, we're gonna take the SIM card tool and we're gonna lightly press down inside this small hole here that you can see. Uh, please do not press too hard. There is a small latch inside that you need to kind of press down and it is easy to break if you press it too hard. Uh, so you will be able to feel it or hear it click uh, and that's how you'll know that it's, it's factory resetting. So let's go ahead and do that here. Uh, make sure that you guys can kind of see that. So I'm going to hold this down and you don't have to hold it down for three or five seconds. You can just you can just press it and then let it go. So as you see there, it uh, goes back to the amber light, and then it's going to start spinning very quickly. This is a good thing. It means that the factory reset process has started. Just to explain real quick, there are two things that the Kivo Plus does when it's factory resetting. Number one, it factory resets. Number two, it has to update the firmware versions to the current firmware that's available for the Kivo Plus. This can take up to 30 minutes. So I would recommend, once you reset the Kivo Plus, that you go ahead and walk away for 30 minutes before attempting to pair. That's what we're going to do right now. Okay, welcome back. So now that 30 minutes has gone by, as you can see, the Kivo Plus is slowly pulsating white and we are ready to pair. As you can see here, I have my phone. Uh, I have my Kivo app signed in and open. I have my lock uh, that I have already paired uh, it in, in the environment. So this is my office lock. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pair. Um, do me a favor and please pay attention to these instructions. They are specific and the pairing process will not work unless you follow these instructions precisely. So we're gonna go ahead and start the pairing. We wanna click the plus up here in the right-hand corner of the Kivo app. As you can see, pair a device. So that's what we're going to choose. We're going to choose quick set and we're going to choose the Kivo Plus here. Please make sure that you choose the Kivo Plus option and not the lock that you have. Uh, the Kivo Plus will not work or pair if you do that. So it pops up here, we're going to press get started. 
and it's going to ask you three questions. Uh, you're going to use the green check mark to verify those questions. So the first question, is your gateway powered on, connected to your network, and showing a flashing white light ring? Yes, it is. So we're going to check that off. Are you the owner of the Kivo products you would like to control? Yes, I am. Also, what that means is that, are you the one that paired the lock with your phone? Yes, I am. Now, this next step is very important. And this is the last question. Are you the Kivo products, or I'm sorry, are the Kivo products you would like to control within 100 feet of you? Yes, it is. Basically, that means, is the lock within 100 feet of the Kivo Plus? <clears throat> Obviously, uh, this is just for, uh, this is for connection purposes. Uh, so in order for the Kivo Plus to work with the lock, uh, if it was 200 feet away, obviously the Kivo Plus would not be able to control the lock or uh, even recognize the lock at that point. So this is the important part right here. Before you press the green check mark on this last question, we must unplug and plug back in or power cycle the Kivo Plus. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're gonna unplug it. And we're gonna wait three to five seconds. It doesn't take very long. And then we're gonna plug it back in. Now, this won't take very long. Uh, basically, it's just gonna go through a cycle um, and then it will start slowly pulsating white again. Once it does that, we can press this last check mark and go ahead and begin pairing. All right, so it seems to be ready. It is slowly pulsating white, and we're gonna go ahead and press this green button right here, and it's gonna begin pairing. So give it a moment. Sometimes it can take a few seconds. There we go. So you know that the pair has begun once you see the green light. And as you can see here, we're testing the signal strength to the devices. Okay, so this is great news. Uh, basically, the Kivo Plus has read the lock that's in the environment. Uh, your phone has now confirmed that it is seeing the office lock and it is ready to control those devices. So we're gonna go ahead and press this complete setup button. And as you can see, your lock that's in that was on your screen, it will show a lock status now. So that's showing the Kivo Plus lock status here. And as you can see, the lock is locked. Let's go ahead and test out the functionality with the Kivo Plus now. What you would want to do is open up your Kivo app. And you can see that your lock is there. You can see that it's connected to the Kivo Plus and your lock is currently locked. What you would do is tap on your lock. And then as you can see here, it's defaulted uh, because I am in my office, so it's defaulting to connect to the lock. I'm going to switch to the world or the globe mark here. And that is the, uh, that is the motion for control of the Kivo Plus. So when I press this button right here, it's going to ask the Kivo Plus to unlock my lock. So let's go ahead and uh, test that out. And if you heard that, that was my lock unlocking. Now, the phone has updated, so the phone is now seeing that the lock is unlocked. Let's go ahead and lock it. Mm -hmm. 
And there you go. So that is a full tutorial on how to factory reset the Kivo Plus and then properly pair it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at Unikey or at Quickset Customer Support, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Hopefully this video has helped you today and got you back up and running with your lock and your Kivo Plus. Thank you for watching and have a great day.